Hey guys, it's Devin, and welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a kind of sit down, random, chatty video, so I apologize that my background isn't as set up as usual. I might be sipping my coffee as I go. Anyway, so this is just something that I've been thinking about a lot in life and in general. I've always had an obsession with skincare and beauty products and the beauty industry. So I've been thinking about it a lot now that I'm 31. I've definitely noticed like a lot of women or friends that come into the salon are talking about Botox or injections that they're having done and procedures that they want to try and microblading and eyelash extensions and <laughs> all the things. And pretty much everybody I know gets their nails done, has acrylic nails. Um, they don't paint their own nails anymore. Apparently that's not a thing. <laughs> but anyway, I'm not one to talk about nails because I'm a nail biter. I know that's gross, but uh, I try not to. And whenever I'm nervous, I don't even realize I'm doing it. Anyway, I'm trying to be better about my nails. But um, I think I've mentioned this before in another video, but my, by the way, if you hear my kids talking, they're um, Isla's napping and Cullen's playing in the living room. So if you hear noises, but that's mom life. I can't film any other way. So anyway, I've mentioned this in another video before, but my mom is from Holland, uh, born and raised. She moved to the States when she was 20 years old. So she was by herself. So my grandparents and aunts and uncles and everybody are still in Holland. And we used to travel there a lot as a kid to visit family. And I've traveled to other countries. I've been to Paris and Italy and England. Um, so I'm bl very blessed in that sense. Having family there, it's very easy to travel throughout Europe. But um, it definitely left an impression on me, especially my mom, the, her approach to beauty. She is extremely natural, more so than I am. Um, but I remember as a kid, she would wear a little bit of cover up on spots and she would wear a little bit of mascara, maybe eyeliner in the corner. And that was kind of it. Sometimes she'd throw on a little lipstick, but she did not really wear foundation. She didn't go crazy with blushes and bronzers and all that kind of thing. She was pretty minimal with it. And the same thing with her skincare. She always liked skincare and she was always trying different oils and stuff like that, but she was always very minimal. So of course, as an American teenager, I went through my phases of wearing a little bit too much makeup, but um, not actually, probably more natural compared to most. Uh, and I'm still that way today. And I feel like the trend right now, especially in the States, is very um, contoured, foundation, highlight, blush, brows, fake lashes, like it is over the top <laughs> in my opinion, especially being in the beauty industry, I see a lot of it. There's lots of women coming in getting eyelash extensions done. Uh, a lot of them are talking about Botox injections. In my opinion, again, this is totally my opinion. If that's your thing, you do you, whatever makes you feel confident. Um, but I definitely am not a fan of Botox. I feel like, uh, in my opinion, Botox does not make you look younger. It makes your face look frozen. <laughs> no offense, unless they do it extremely naturally and very little. I just feel like when you're a kid, your forehead isn't frozen. You're still moving your forehead. Your smile is huge. That's why we, as we age, we get the laugh lines because you spend a lot of time smiling and laughing as a kid. So I feel like when you take that away, it changes your face and it changes your uniqueness. And I'm just not a fan of that and we'll never be getting Botox. Um, and I feel like in a lot of other countries in Europe, especially a lot of women aren't into that with the lip injections and the Botox and the cos cosmetic procedures, it's more stripped down and not that they don't, um, love beauty cause they do, but their perception of beauty is very different. I noticed that a lot in Paris, especially that it's a very like effortlessly chic look that the Parisian women have. They're very tousled hair, minimal makeup, but their dress is just, just is so beautiful. And the French women, I've done research about this over the years. Hey, love bug. Well, what should I press this? Let me see. What? It should, Launching. It, it, it should free. It should free. It does. Mommy's making a video, okay? I love you. I love you too. Um, anyway, so I noticed that the Parisian women are a lot more minimal, but Parisian women in my research, because I love researching like French skincare and all that kind of thing is they take such good care of their skin and they rather invest in their skincare, um, and their lotions and their body lotions than they do on makeup. So they 
do a full-on skincare routine. They're always removing their makeup. They do lots of oils and facial mists. And when they do use their makeup, they use high-quality makeup. Um, kind of their whole approach is um, quality over quantity. And especially even with fashion, like they say most French women have a lot smaller wardrobe than their average American woman, um, but the quality of it is expensive. So you have less pieces, but they all kind of go together and meld. You can mix and match with it. And they're the same way with skincare. They spend more money on their skincare than they do on their makeup bag. And I always just, that that lifestyle has always resonated with me. Um, maybe that's because my mom is European, I don't know. But in, in, in Holland it was the same way. There was a lot more natural of a look and an approach. And um, a lot kind of slower lifestyle. I always loved that people rode their bike everywhere. People stopped during the day to sit and eat and actually enjoy their meals. They uh, have siestas in Italy, like literally all the stores would close down at a certain time because everybody was coming home to eat with their family. And I just love that. And I feel like that lifestyle in general of simplifying and kind of slowing down um, is just awesome. And I love that. And I kind of view that approach too with beauty is kind of minimizing, simplifying, slowing down, taking care of your skin, taking off your makeup, using minimal products, but really good products not feeling like you have to cover up your skin. And I know when you really take care of your skin and you have a good canvas to apply on, you really don't need much. And I think that with aging in general, in America, I think we're afraid to age. Like you're expected, hello. You're expected to look 20 when you're 50, when 55 and 60. And it's kind of crazy if you think about it. And it puts so much pressure, especially on women. You know, men are allowed to age. They're about to have wrinkles and gray hair. It's sophisticated and sexy as they get older. but Women, if you have gray hair or you start getting wrinkles, it's like, oh, she's letting herself go. It's just such a strange culture. And I feel like in a lot of those countries in Europe, aging, obviously we don't, no, no, nobody loves to age, nobody wants to age, but they kind of are growing old gracefully, embracing it, going with it, taking care of themselves, obviously, really well, how they eat, drinking water, um, proper skincare, but they're not like afraid to get wrinkles. And I think here we're afraid of any sign of aging and it's like terrible. <laughs> it's like terrible and the worst thing ever and stressful and it puts a lot of pressure on women and I think we kind of need to just take a step back and look at what's really important. And obviously I don't want to age and I don't want to get wrinkles but that's just a fact of life you guys. So um, I'm just learning to take care of my skin, take care of my hair, um, slow down in life, eating healthy definitely not perfect with that especially with two kids I feel like some days I'll be like did I just eat like crust of a sandwich and half of a banana all day with my coffee like so I have to constantly remind myself to take care of myself and slow down stop being such a rush all the time so how do you guys feel about that how do you feel about um, the beauty industry and skincare and how do you feel about injections and Botox and all that stuff. I'm kind of curious to know what you guys think and what products do you like and use and love? Have any of you guys been to Europe? Did you notice the same things that I noticed? Just leave me that in the comment section below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe for future updates. If you're already subscribed, welcome back. I know after my braiding video that I did a couple weeks ago, people said they also wanted me to do just like a simple tutorial on how to do a French braid or how to do a rope braid. So I'm definitely going to be doing that. I just need to find I was thinking about maybe doing it on a model um, so it'd be easier to show you and film it instead of doing it on myself. I don't know. It will come out soon. I will be putting that out soon. So stay tuned for that. And if you have any other um, tutorials or questions or things you would like me to talk about or show you how to do, then um, ask away. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.